actually gathered way too many resources. I don't know how I miscalculated this so much. But yes, it's been constructed. You're probably now hearing the music. And it's time for it yet another time lapse. Let's go. becomes source blocks and then we put soul sand at the very bottom. Ah, I didn't see that one coming. I gotta admit it, I, I, I didn't see that at all. How am I gonna deal with this? Uh-oh. <laughs> I've got a horrible feeling that I overlooked this in a big way in my test world. Let's send an update to that block there. It waterlogs the entire thing, which is what we can expect to see. Oh. It's, it's completely waterlogged inside and out. Oh, why? Why does this always happen to me? This AFK session couldn't have ended in a more hilarious way. Now, I checked on this over an hour ago, and so I know this wandering trader has turned up recently, and I actually want to trade with it. So I'm gonna turn off my clicker. But yeah, a wandering trader has like actually spawned like right here in this space what are the odds <laughs> how is this even possible or maybe actually it spawned down below and got brought up through the farming system anyway this is my afk minecraft profile right here which is why the view is janky the frame rate is low just so it has like minimum impact on the computer while i'm afk um so now what i want to do I want to trade with you, so I need to clear out my inventory and get me some mini blocks. This is not the intro I planned. I'm over here collecting bones because last episode we sold out all of our bone blocks. And a little bit of a cryptic message down here. I noticed that we got some heads, so someone has come and visited me and put them in my inventory. GG, got them. Gotcha. But but who left these here? I just don't know. Now there is one material we're going to need a lot of, and you know we have a farm for this. I just saw some banners. Banners? Maps. I saw some maps behind me. Uh let's talk about this, okay? We're gonna need gold for bartering, and this was doing alright for my own personal needs, but we're just gonna need so much more in 1.16. Vote for Scar, you know? Vote for Scar, eh? You just come and spam these in my base? Is this is this how you're trying to convince me to vote? It is a beautiful map, though. It's a beautiful map of a lot of love and care put into it. I'm going to leave it there for now. I actually kind of like that. Just and, add you know, something to the Everyone can make their new portals when we reset the never. Now, there is one thing that I do want to do, and it's to come over here and take back all of this redstone from the button, because you guys know Mumbo Jumbo. 
he's always out of the loop and the nether is going to reset and he's not going to know what's happened so I figured I would actually collect the rest of his redstone here and put it in a shulker box for him. So at the very top of Mumbo's base there is a chicken and I've decided that that chicken has laid an egg. This, this egg is just a shulker box with a sign on it. So uh, hey Mumbo the nether will reset so I saved your redstone and a bunch of colourful blocks from in there as well. Also, whenever I come to Mumbo's nether portal, I always have to break this glass to get through. I mean, what is this chaos right here? Uh, this portal doesn't seem to lead anywhere useful. If I go on this side over here, there's no way out of this space. And then there's just endless tunnels. This tunnel just goes on for ages and ages. Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, I am, I'm feeling a shiver. It is ferociously cold out here, my friends. Oh, we need to head to a warmer climate. Ah, oh, yes, this place, this'll do. This, I'm pretty sure, is where I belong. Oh, I feel better already. I feel so much better. Oh, yes, things are normal. And hey, look. We're in the new amazing glorious 1.16 nether. Oh, wow. Oh, this place is so cool. Look at all the new stuff. The netherrack and, and the more netherrack. And, oh, look, there's more netherrack over here. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft in 1.16 with yours truly, Stride Suma. <laughs> I've changed my skin again. Oh my goodness me, and it's it's so much fun. I may never go back to my normal skin ever again. Whenever there's a new mob added, I might just embrace it, you know? Like I've embraced this ugly fella. I've got a little bit of a sad face going on. And i got to say, the Strider is one ugly mob, but I kind of love it. Hello for that, everyone, you know? and welcome to Hermitcraft, now on 1.16. Yeah, Mandatory yay sounds. Yay. I have been given the task of introducing a game that I don't even know how to play. Okay? <laughs> right? It's, it's called Bingo. Bingo. We're playing Bingo. Bingo. Played Bingo before. It's Bingo. Please don't shoot at me while I'm trying to explain it, this game. Okay. <laughs> Let Cub do it. Thanks. Enough for the arrow. We're, we're playing Nether Bingo. Okay? <laughs> so Cub's made a list of things that we have to do in the Nether, and the first team to complete all the things gets mm, the prize. <laughs> you're close. You're so close. The first, the first, uh, first group of people to get the five in a row. Either a row, so, a mm -hmm. column, or diagonal. So if I yeah. if I Wind just bingo. like wow. go harvest this with a hoe, then that's it. I've got one of them yeah, already. Yeah. So you yeah, would yeah, just yeah. remember that you've got that one done and we'll do the rest of them. Do you know what? I have played bingo before. Oh my god. We played oh, yeah, Minecraft yeah, bingo. It was built into yeah. the game. Mm-hmm. They have that on uh, the MC Championship too. Man, I was just thinking this feels familiar all of a sudden. Let me uh, let me borrow that hoe real fast so I can get that one done too. Okay, cool. If not, do either of you have one? Mm, there you go. Uh, That's that done. I don't believe so. Loot, I don't think I have the fossil one on mine. Jump to the oh. next one. <laughs> this counts. This blatantly counts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I used it to climb up. Excellent. All right. Sweet. And it is burn a gas tier in the soul sand valley. There we go. So now we just okay. need to make nether brick. We could do that with a furnace. There we go. We're gonna, gonna sure shout bingo. Of, of course, he has a stone cutter with him. <laughs> right. Everyone, get ready to shout at the same time. Okay. Here we go. Chiseled stone bricks. Let me double check. That's the correct one. Chiseled nether yeah, bricks. Yeah. Check that we've got a row as well. That's it. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> we did it. Bingo. Nice one. I was all confused about this game <laughs> yeah. before we got going. I was like, what are we supposed to do? Be beginner's luck, X. <laughs> beginner's luck. Dude, you can't be angry at me. I'm wearing gold. I want my... <gasps> no, I'm in trouble. <sighs> oh, no, no, no. I'm dead. Okay, there goes the... How am I so in trouble? Oh, okay, you're getting wrecked. Well, you saw it right there. An encounter with a piglin. Dropped me down to half a heart. We've got to be careful. 
in this new nether update. But we are okay, safe and sound up here in the roof area of the Never now, and that's what I did anyway, after that we're about to do a speed run. Up. Things could go wrong. There is lava around this area. There are zombie five piglins. Okay, they're good. This one. Yep. On to the next bit. Run! <laughs> so this is what we'll do. Uh, we'll do that, and then that one. This is a pretty fast way to reveal everything, although it did take me some time to come and place all of the beds. Oh, I've been lowered down by one block. Oh, and I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't have the blocks in front of me, so I took more damage that time. Wow. Okay, gotta be careful. Gotta take the blocks being in front of us very seriously. This is just amazing, though. Okay, so what's going on on this side? There's no bed there because there's lava. And then I think we've got two left. Okay, and then behind us. Woo! And that's it. So now we get to walk back through here and see how much of the ancient debris we've uncovered. Starts off with us getting a position underneath it. I feel like this height here is probably correct. And now things feel very precarious because at any point I could. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh yeah, but I've got wings. <laughs> Sorry if I scared you then. Oh, do you know what? This place used to be terrifying, but now that we got the elytra and rockets, it's not so bad. Engaging is it? your interest in seeing just how many people like it. So thanks for commenting. And now. I don't have my armor on! I could have died! <laughs> now we're gonna start a time lapse. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. I have some good news to deliver. You've probably heard this already on other Hermits channels, but we have elected a mayor of the Commercial District. And so if you cast your mind back an episode or two, we placed a vote, right? And those votes were tallied up by Grian. He did the vote counting. There were actually two positions. One of them was the dog catcher role, which Joe Hills was running for, and running unopposed, he won the vote, and he pledges to remove all these wild dogs from the server. The other vote was for the mayoral role, so again, Grian tallied up all the votes, we put them in one by one so we could sort of see it visually live, and Good Times with Scar has won the vote. Now you know that's not who I voted for, but the reality is it didn't really matter who you voted for, we were going to win either way because having someone as a mayor of this area is just going to be so fantastic for its development and taking it in a direction and unifying all these bills and overhauling all of the mycelium and ugliness. It, it really didn't matter who won. It's a, it's a win all around. Congratulations, Scar. I think it's time for you to, to sit on the throne. Take, <gasps> take, up, take up the diamond throne. It's all yours. Yeah. And so the newly elected Scar took his rightful place upon the throne. The throne of diamonds. Look at all of them. What on earth are we going to do with all those diamonds? Well, the fate of them is in Scar's we hands now. A test. And this just worked beautifully straight away. Zombie pigmen flowing in. No problems whatsoever. But then, you'd know it, wouldn't you? <laughs> 
That's right, I got killed by a baby piglin. Well, design oversight, we needed to add some slabs to stop the babies getting out. And now I'm just worried, can I actually get all the way over there and get my items back? Because, I don't know, the jungle can be hostile terrain, especially at night. And of course it would be night time. And here's the thing, my items are inside of my storage area. There's nothing over here at the portal that can really help me get across. I should like add an emergency elytra and rockets or something. I never plan on dying, basically. And now there's a skeleton on my backside. Oh, it's all gonna go wrong now. It's all gonna go wrong. All oh, my words, there is skin on my teeth. There's a creeper in my way. I need some blocks. Wait, maybe I can jump up from here. Oh, okay. Whew. <laughs> that was lucky. Right, let's get down here and grab my items. And the piglins shouldn't be angry at me anymore because I died. And that's the way that that works. So we've got on all of our gear back. Well, isn't that just terrific? And I had golden carrots in my offhand. They seem to have making their way into here. So I guess it was possible for some of my items to go through that gap, which we need to arm with slabs. And this was very fortunate timing for me because I was literally about to leave the computer and go AFK for a little bit. So I'm glad I spotted that. Less than an hour later, and we have 53 of these gold blocks, which is just ridiculous. And what's even crazier is that our storage system got filled up to the brim, and we probably wasted a bunch of gold drops coming into here. This thing is going to be phenomenal, and it can even be upgraded further, which is just bonkers, right? But also, from this farm, we get ourselves some Zombified piglin heads, look at me. I've become uglier than ever. I have now oh. revised my entire plan because of beacons. We need instant mine, I forgot about this. Also, hello buddy. Hey, oh, it's cold out here, isn't it? Let me help you with that, my friend. There hey, we go, a, a stride a whole save. stack of TNT, and there's a reason that I'm flying away. And that is so that we can watch this from up above. And you can see how all the pigmen are now angry at me. Woo! Oh, straight into a wall. That could have been fatal. <laughs> excellent, excellent. That actually made like a big dent. That's the way that you do it. That made a really big dent. And so I decided to put together a little action-packed replay shot of me setting off the TNT reaction here. And when the chain reaction actually ran out, I then started flying around and managing to hit it with the flint and steel. It was a lot of fun. And this episode has also been a lot of fun, but I'm just reaching a point now where I'm actually running out of picks to continue. Straight away we've got what we wanted, two of them. Two of them, now can I pacify them? Wait, they just, no! You shot the pigman! You shot the pigman! Okay, that guy's running away. Don't, don't run away, come to the gold. Aha, right, then we need to put you in a minecart. This might be tricky, or it might not. Let's give you a little nudge. Hey, oh, come back here. I need to keep these items on my hotbar. Right, look, there's gold for you. Come and get the gold. Uh, that other guy's going to get in the car. Oh. <laughs> yes, got you. I kind of realized that they can detect... Oh, he's going to shoot me now. What if you're looking at that? What if you want to go there? Ah, brilliant. Okay, so they detect it from far away, and then they come after it. And do you control that and go towards the gold? I'm not sure. I'm actually going to leave like a couple of pieces around for them to like keep their attention on. And then bring you down to the chamber. We're all good to nudge this guy. And I've got a name tag here. I've only got four. We're going to need to buy another five from somewhere. And I'm going to call you Bart. Bart for bartering. Ow! Don't shoot me, Bart! Pay attention to the gold. It's right there behind you. Excellent. Excellent. Hello everyone, and welcome back to a nether episode here <laughs> on the Hermitcraft server. Oh goodness me, I think I'm just going to go back down in the lava now. Uh oh, there is a flaw in this design I guess. He does fall down to the bottom though, so it's not all bad. Well what can I say, this farm is just bonkers. It's producing loads of hoglins, but they are having issues actually making their way down to the lava. But eventually they get there, and as you can see, it's been a very productive AFK session. 
I think I've been AFK for about two hours and we've actually filled up a double chest and another one. And there's some over here as well. And do you know where else is some? Down here on the ground because they fall all the way down to the bedrock as well. This farm could do with some definite improvements. So how are we going to overhaul this janky farm? We're going to blow it up and try it again. Oh my goodness me. There it goes. <laughs> TNT is so much fun. Oh, look at that. We got pretty much most of the farm in one go. But uh, this is all we're greeted by, and I even fly through these tunnels like a rebel. <laughs> it's dangerous, but it gets me there quicker. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. This may or may not be a familiar sight to you, depending on how long you've been watching the series. Oh my goodness me, a wandering trader! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! And you've got new trades. Oh, I'm not prepared to do this. Look, Crimson Stem. Oh, if I leave the area and leave it in unloaded chunks and then come back, we might be able to get our hands on these trades. Okay, I really want to get some of these. So we got a new objective for today's episode, my friends. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. While I'm working on this project, I get visited by the Wandering Trader. Which is, of course, what I'm after because I want to get my hands on more of these mini blocks. An ancient debris, and I just happen to have one. Wow. Okay, and I don't have the respawn anchor yet. Yikes. I should have been more prepared. I have got to be a little careful over here. There's creepers. Uh, Green was having trouble finding his boots, which mysteriously vanished over here. And the trick for me was to press F3 and B and then come through the portal. And what I noticed is that his very, portal is very big. And it was kind of like all the way over on this side. So because I had that, I could see the item. But yes, he was having a little bit of trouble finding his boots. Now we're going to have a little bit of trouble cleaning up all these mobs. 